City of Mist. We go into the realm of superheroes with the City of Mist starter box. I also have a bunch more City of Mist stuff that I want to look at and talk about in the future. So, learn to roleplay in a city of ordinary people and legendary powers. In City of Mist, myth and legends are born within modern-day individuals. Hard-boiled detectives and cunning mob lords hold the mystic po or mythic powers of characters from the Sumerian Age of Gilgamesh, Greek mythology, German fairy tales, the Bible, Fijian folk tale, and more. But the mysterious force of the mist makes everyone who isn't a legend forget their magic, leaving modern-day gods and monsters to terrorize the city from the shadows. Can your crew uncover the truth of who is really behind it all? City of Mist is a cinematic role-playing game of investigation, action, and drama set in a gritty urban fantasy world. This box is designed to introduce the game to your group with little prep as possible, learning as you play. That's, that's a hook, right? That's good. That's well done. Game Components. A booklet for players explaining the rules of the game through short learn-as-you-play read-out text. This might be the first book we've seen that in. We've seen several other books we've talked about so far have solo adventures to teach the, the game master, whoever's running the game, how to play. This specifically states it's designed for you to take this box, sit down, and learn to play as you go as the players and the GM. And that is a very cool prospect. So... A booklet for the MC, I guess that's you, the, the person in charge, explaining the role of the MC and containing the details of your first case, Shark Tank. Five pre-generated character folios, 20 tracking cards, the crew theme card, two custom City of Mist dice, seven location maps on double-sided sheets that are 22 by 17, and 41 illustrated character tokens. All right. That... Sounds pretty good to me. Um, also, we have the style of box that I like. It also just says right on the front, City of Mist, Ordinary People, Legendary Powers. I'm hooked. I like it. Okay, right off the bat, we have, it looks like, well, looks like this is a 2D12 system. I noticed that, uh, oh, hang on, maybe not. These look like to be custom dice. So this D12 here, I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I think it's a it's a D six, but it's two D12, or it's a D12, so it's a D6 twice. It has a funky symbol, which I think is like the six, maybe. And then this one has the same thing, this purple one. Except it has lightning bolts. So they are a D12, but instead of being, you know, 1 through 12, it's 1 through 6 twice on each die. That sets you out. That sets you stands your part as unique. We have all seeing eye investigations. This is the crew. This is like a seems like it might be dry or wet erase. This is a crew theme card, which looks like it's gonna kind of give you. Uh, all right, let's see. Attention, fade. What are the hidden powers controlling our city? The private investigation firm is a front. Uh, and then it has power tags, new power tags, improvements, so on. We have some cards here. It says tracking. I wonder if this is like initiative tracking cards. All right, first up looks like we have the maps. Which... Full color, double-sided battle maps. One. There's two. We have our pawns. which we can see some of these are listed as people. Job, Baku, Lily Chow, Talal Lock. Then we see enforcer numbers, cops, 
iron hans, some sharks, canine, ambrosia crates. Okay. Then we've got some pre-gen sheets, which are... Sheets is a stretch, man. This is... This is like a vinyl, and it's a bifold. Look at that. First of all, beautiful. And then all your stats on this side. So first up here, we have is Baku. Um, the people of this city are slumbering, uh, sleeping even through their waking hours. Let's see. It says, Adaptating Dream-Eating Chimera. I don't know, that sounds cool. Uh, Monster Hunter, Nightmare of Nightmares. I'm really going to have to look into this because I think I'm actually really into what I'm seeing here. Tiger Claw Dojo. All right, that's Baku. Because it does seem like you're getting powers from, like, gods and stuff, which is very cool. We have Detective and Keto. She looks like she might be sort of a, like, a Poison Ivy type. It says Expression Wild. Um, has some other powers here. So I'm wondering if she has, like, nature powers. Hard-boiled detective. Standard issue gear. Okay. We have this gentleman here. His name is Job. Or maybe that's Job. Probably Job, right? Because he's got, I'm noticing the cross. So I'm thinking that might be Job. I don't know. It looks like he's a priest, though. I see a collar there, too. Uh, although Job could be a cool name too, but um, and his destiny here is Devil, Devil, Take It All. So I obviously guess he's uh, some sort of like got maybe divine powers from a more Christian style. Okay, we have come on, we have Lily Chow. My green magical giant is her kind of thing. And then also it says Sorcerer Supreme. So I wonder if she's like a some sort of magic user. Lily unleashed a ferocious magical giant into the world, Iron Hans. Ever since she freed him, Hans has been protecting her from whatever threat comes her way. He is more than just a shaggy giant. He's a master of the magical arts, capable of conjuring goblins and fairies. Oh, okay, so we can actually learn what these people do if we read a little bit into it. All right, so she kind of summoned forth. She's like a shaman king situation. Uh, okay, this guy, Job, we're going to go with. He simply cannot die. Like his biblical mythos, he is at the center of a bet between God and the devil that has ruined his life, but keeps his, his body alive and his soul untarnished. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, how about this detective? In the dark recesses of her soul, Detective Enkidu harbors a feral creature, the heroic beastman Enkidu of ancient Mesopotamia. Can she trust his animalistic wisdom? And Baku has a whole bunch. He is a chimera, a magical being made of leftover parts of other animals created to devour nightmares. He can change himself to counter any dark or phantasmal energy he encounters. A strange creature who preys on nightmares, Baku was endowed with supernatural senses that allow him to stay one step ahead of those he hunts. And when he strikes, it's already too late for his prey. Pouncing from a mantle of darkness, he swiftly and deadly vanishes back into the night just as fast. All right, we have Talalok. Uh, in his divine purview, Talalok controls storms and lightning. But with his newfound powers came a growing need to find those who would ravage the earth, a need he's been trying to stifle. And as the god of all watery things, Talala can turn his person into water and reform it whenever a body of water exists, if it's big enough for him to go through. Those are some pretty cool, unique sort of heroes. I like that. All right. Then we have two books in here. We have... The Players book, which again has everybody we were just talking about, gives us information about those characters. Literally here, like, new to role-playing, let's learn about how to do it. Voiceover monologue. Oh, they have, like, literal options for people to, like, read out loud. <clears throat> Talks about how to understand what your powers are. 
Oh, that thing, I wasn't sure what it was. It's a mask. The little thing on the side of the D12. That's a mask. The other one's a lightning bolt. Right, it talks about the different moves and stuff. This is obviously a unique system. So we have this one for the players. And then we have, oh, the Master of Ceremonies. The Yay, the MC. Which is the GM of this game. I'm just going to, again, walk you through. Um, right, let's look up how much... The City of Mist RPG runs. City of Mist RPG. Um, okay. Um, City of Mist RPG starter set. How about that? Can you still get the starter set? You might not be able to. Well, that might pose a problem. Uh, there is a premium set that's $120. Um, and then you have individual books. I don't know if the starter set is available anymore. So this might be a thing that's just sold out. Um, let's take a look. At least on Amazon, anyway. Let's see. Uh, okay, no, it is available. Oh, it's currently out of stock, even on the City of Mist website. It says it's looking to be back in stock in January. It is $40. So, um, okay. We get, obviously, the book for the players and the book for the MC. But as I stated, they're both designed to be sort of like read as you play. It's currently, like, right on their website, it's listed as a game night in a box. Everything you need to play City of Mist with your game group, starting rules, adventure, dice, pre-gen characters, tokens, and more. Learn as you play. Uh, no lengthy intros. Dive into the adventure and learn the rules as you go. And then again, if you buy it from the City of Mist website, it does say download the PDF for this item. It does also say in the back here, play... Free cases, download and play the free City of Mist cases. V is for going viral and demons in cross end. Uh, find the full character, creation rules, player actions, or whatever in the player guide. Continue to the next uh, case in this story arc. Um, the second case is called Gambling with Death. Expand the story arc. Get all the information on the greater options in the MC Toolkit book. Pick up more ready to play cases. So it does say there is a free, um, couple of free cases that you can download here. And there is a way to expand the story contained in here further with other books. Again, it doesn't give you any like information in here that I saw that was how to download the digital version. Although it does appear that there is a digital download that you'll get if you buy it from the City of Mist website. Um... But you are getting, again, the dice you need to play the game, which do look to be unique dice. Or at least you need the sixes to be unique or know that they're going to be different if you roll them. They are also using the double D12, so that's an interesting choice. Makes it a little more unique. We obviously have all of the tokens that you can pop out here for the characters. They're really nice, heavy-duty um, pre-gen character sheets. Again... I don't know how big the character sheets are, but these are pretty sizable. And these are really nice because they're definitely going to be water resistant, if not waterproof. Again, we mentioned the dice, the unique colored dice. We have these tracking cards and then a crew theme, which looks to be like to track you like your superhero group, as it were. And yeah, I mean, it's set uh, again, currently out of stock, but $39.95 is the price i think this is definitely a more reasonable price tag um for something like this you're getting a lot of stuff in here i mean the quality of those pre-gen character sheets is really nice and i really i'm curious to see because again this is something i haven't played but it does tout itself as being like a learn to play as you go Usually, with most starter sets, as we've seen, they'll include, like, the solo adventure for the GM or whatever to sit down, run for themselves to get to learn the rules, and then they'll have the starter adventure 
for the GM to run that like you kind of do the research and prep ahead of time and then can sit down and then like run it when you're ready for your group of players. This is saying that it's dive into the adventure and learn as you go. That is a very, what is my hair doing? That is a very interesting concept and I would love to give that a try. To just get a bunch of people and sit down and just play, learn as you go. Everybody figures out the rules as they happen, kind of as we need to, and just see if you can legitimately just learn as you play. Because if that is truly the case, this is one of the best starter sets ever developed in that you can just sit down and play as you go. That is pretty much an unheard of thing from what I've seen out of all of the starter sets that I've opened. We haven't had one where you're designed to not do the research ahead of time and like prep that you're just designed to read it and play as you go. And like I said, if that translates as well as they're saying it seems to, this could easily be a 10 out of 10. As it stands right now, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 because we are still currently dealing with one. It's out of stock, but also we still don't know the situation of the PDFs, right? If you buy this from Amazon, if you find this in a local game store, can you get the PDF of this? Do you have to like reach out to them? How does that work? Because obviously there's no code included in the box. That could make things a lot easier. It did give you a couple places to go. We've seen some of the other ones where they give you a coupon code inside. Some have a QR code that you scan. Um, but just the confusion around how you get the PDF, especially if you don't buy it directly from the website. On a, and like, let's be honest, we all want to support local game stores, but in some instances, Amazon is just easier. People have Amazon credit cards. It gets to them faster. A lot of times it's at a more discounted price. So people are likely to go get these on Amazon, but who knows, right? Maybe that's the, the difference, right? You buy it from the reseller directly, you get the PDF. You buy it from Amazon, you get it faster, maybe cheaper, but you don't get the PDF. And that just might be how the trade-off is. But either way, I like it. I like the color scheme and the art. I actually have a full set of basically everything from City of Mist in the next room that was sent over. Uh, and I want to dive into that at some point and give this a try. It also, because it seems to have such a tie to like deities and gods, could be a really interesting way to possibly try to do like... Um, almost like a Percy Jackson, right? Obviously, that's a big deal because the um, the Disney Plus show is coming out right now. Or, you know, it's out. A couple episodes are out already. So this could be an interesting way to do that. Instead of doing, like, Scion in the World of Darkness, you do City of Mist instead. That could be fun. Mm -hmm.